Hello, welcome to my TED Talk. Today we are going to be talking about Ivan the Terrible. Now, you may be wondering who this man is. Ivan the Terrible, or Ivan the Fourth, was the first Tsar of Russia. During his reign, which was from 1533 to 1584, Ivan acquired vast amounts of land through ruthless means, creating a centrally controlled government. He is the grandson of Ivan the Great. He created a centrally controlled Russian state mainly from military dominance. Many believe he was mentally ill, and one of his violent outbursts was the reason for his son's death. After the death of his first wife in 1560, Ivan became suspicious of everyone around him, mentally unstable and violent. He married seven more times between 1561 and 1581, each wife being either found dead in mysterious circumstances, murdered, or sent to a convent. He was born on August 25, 1530, in the Grand Duchy of Muscovy, Russia, to members of the Rurik dynasty. He died on March 18, 1584. In 1547, Ivan IV, grandson of Ivan the Great, was crowned the first Tsar of all Russia in the Kremlin's Upensky Cathedral. In addition, Moscow became the capital of the Holy Russian Empire. Ivan ruled with a deep-seated paranoia and ruthlessness. It's said that he gouged out the eyes of the architects who built the St. Basil's so that a cathedral of such beauty could never be created again. The Tsar's power became absolute when Ivan the Terrible succeeded in conquering the remaining independent principalities such as Siberia. The state also assigned a master to the peasants who worked the lands around an estate, setting in stone the system of serfdom. Ivan came to throne when he was only three years old and had to battle boyars and nobles for power for most of his early life. Ivan became the Tsar in 1546 at age 16. He was the first to officially use Tsar as a title. Ivan's wife died in 1560. He accused the boyars and nobles of poisoning her. He then created a secret police force who only had the job of killing people he thought was a traitor or who might have poisoned his wife. These police were dressed in all black and rode black horses. In 1581, Ivan killed his oldest son, who was heir to the throne. Ivan thought he was the strongest out of his t the two sons he had, so he left his weak son in charge after he died three years later. When Ivan the Terrible died in 1584, Russia was left in a state of almost total political and economic ruin. The period between 1547 and 1559 was known as Ivan the Fourth's Good Period. Ivan had ruled for a while now doing essential things like gaining land for Russia and putting an ordered law system into effect. Ivan is one of history's most mysterious figures. He left behind no papers, no letters, and hardly any documentation from his reign. Everything we know about him comes from at least second-hand sources. Now for some interesting facts. Ivan was a lonely kid who was for the most part neglected by his family, who were busy poisoning and stabbing each other. He spent his time reading and torturing little animals. Hobbies included playing the trombone, killing people, and throwing pets out of upper windows. Ivan had his first rival executed when he was only 13 years old. This execution effectively ended the political struggles within the Russian state that had persisted throughout his childhood. In addition to being a horrible animal-torturing and rival-executing person, he was also a very devout Christian. He ordered reforms to be made that would further Christianize Russia. He would sometimes go into fits of religious devotion. Lastly, Although cruel and most likely insane, he was the hero of many disenfranchised Russians because he scaled back the power and abuses of the nobility. He was seen as a champion of the poor and the powerless. Now, the golden question. Was Ivan really that terrible? Ivan's aggressive character took root during his childhood. Ivan's father, the previous ruler, Vasily III, died suddenly when Ivan was just three years old making the toddler the nominal ruler of all of Russia. At the age of eight, Ivan's mother died, leaving the young Tsar to fend for himself as an orphan. The first part of Ivan's rule was marked with great success. 
the country underwent legal reforms, came out victorious in wars, and established foreign relations. Following the first loss in the war with Lithuania and economic downfall of the country, Ivan began blaming the misfortunes on his government. He would execute anyone who disagreed with him. Ivan is most remembered for his murder of his own son. According to the story, Ivan walked in on his son's pregnant wife laying half-naked. Blaming her for indecency, he began hitting the pregnant woman until his son, also Ivan, walked in and defended her. In a rage, Ivan hit his son on the head and he died several days later. Although this is the popular version of event, historians argue that his son simply died of illness without Ivan's part in it. However, rumors of the murder further solidified Ivan's terrible nickname. In the end, Ivan was definitely a ruthless ruler, but one could argue that he had to be in order to survive in a country where power was sought after and even closest friends conspired against each other. From a troubled childhood to many misfortunes, Ivan suffered throughout his entire life, enough to make him do some terrible things.